You may be wondering why I'm standing in this darkness here. I am, at the moment, in space. I'm in space for a very good reason because next week there is a major... What's that, Johnny? Nothing. I said you've been in space for 23 years. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> next week, a major space event is going to happen. Tell us all about it. Dean Hutton. All right. <laughs> An incredible event is about to occur within a week. Yes. The comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 Sounds is like a going, jockey. Yeah, named after the discoverers, and it's going to collide with one of the planets in the solar system. And what is it? It's a comet. A, it's a comet. And the force will be greater than 80 million Hiroshima atomic bombs. If it were the Earth, it would be enough to wipe out all life. Whoa. Well, fortunately, so... it's not Earth. Right. But this is heavy science tonight, folks. No flippancy. I'm going on a journey with you. You I can, are. I, I, got, I can feel it in my water. <laughs> We're going to jump into the old rocket ship and head through the solar system and okay. find out which planet is going to get it. Okay, Beep. where do I go? Beep. Oh, the rocket ship. The rocket ship. Five. Beam us up, Scotty. Four. Three. Two. One. Okay. <laughs> now... As we emerge... Boy, boys and girls, I'm having fun here! <laughs> and as we emerge from behind uh, the sun, the yes. first planet we come across is... is Mercury! That incredible, zippy, rapid little planet. Mercury. Which zaps around the sun in just three months. Well, Daryl, if, lap... if you lived on Mercury, yes. you would be more than 160 years old. And for the boys and girls but at home, Mercury... Daryl and Dean are not quonking. They are not quonking. <laughs> <laughs> Mercury continually blows hot and cold. In the yeah. middle of the day, Mercury <laughs> is more than 300 degrees Celsius. Oh, really? Middle of the night, minus 200. Oh, that's that's well, Mercury. That's How stand behind him. Oh, you would be 160 if you were on Mercury. I would be 160. You would. How you old would. is Mercury? He looks a bit... Oh, uh, much, much older. He looks a bit fragile. But yeah. he's not going to get it. OK. So let's go on to Venus. <laughs> on to the next that's planet, what, says he. On to the know. next planet. Go on, You're off you go, Mercury. Off, off, here. off you go. OK. On to the next planet as we go past. There goes Mercury. Oh, here's the yes. foreground. Yes. Comes. Here's Venus. Venus. The yes. most dangerous. <laughs> Daryl, the most dangerous of all planets. Right. This if you landed arms. on Venus... You would be crushed. <laughs> I would the be atmospheric crushed. pressure would be 90 times that on Earth. Every bone yeah. of your body would be broken. Yeah, but you oh. wouldn't care. Oh. And you'd be poisoned. <laughs> and with carbon dioxide. <laughs> your skin would blister. 450 degrees. My goodness. What's this if girl anything's got? left, it would shrivel up in the clouds oh. of sulfuric oh. acid. Oh. Yes. Leave my personal life out of this, you can. <laughs> and a day on Venus is longer than a year. Whoa. It absolutely is. Well, let me go to Venus. Well, All right. <laughs> but, she, but she's not going to get it no. either. No, OK. Let's Venus disappears behind the sun yeah, there. Give, give me one of those leap years. Now, here's Earth, yes. accompanied yeah. by the moon revolving around Earth. Right. <laughs> the Earth and the moon. No, that's... that's ah! Not, that's not, the moon. No, hang on. No, I don't think so, so Red. The moon. No, the moon, no. Yeah, the moon actually takes 28 <laughs> days to go around the Earth, and it also rotates 28 days once every 28 days, so we never see the backside of the moon. And I know that 25 years ago today... Neil Armstrong said landed this. on the moon. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. He Isn't actually it? got the lines wrong there, but he did a pretty good job, Neil Armstrong. <laughs> what, was yeah. he, what was he supposed to say? He was say? supposed to say that was one small step for a man. One oh. giant leap for mankind. Oh. He left out one of the words. Yeah, it could okay. be a take two. I, I see Mars long. coming up. Mars? Right. Yeah. Uh, I didn't want to be Mars. I wanted to be Uranus. You can't. <laughs> you, you can't. You are Mars. <laughs> and you should be happy to be Mars because Mars is the ugliest planet of all. Yes. It's pockmarked. Yeah. It has lines all over its face. Hey, yeah. And yeah. the biggest zit in the yeah. solar system. Mars may be ugly. It has a volcano three times the size of Everest. With a crater that could swallow both Melbourne and Sydney together. All oh, right. Mars. Absolutely freaky. Right. So he's there talking goes, about Venus there for a there minute. There goes Mars. There goes Mars. Oh. Now, now, are these any of these planets the asteroids? The, the asteroids. The asteroid. <laughs> oh, we just passed the asteroid belt. <laughs> because we're on the way to Jupiter, what? the largest of the planets, the king of the planets. There it is. There, there it, it is. is. Jupiter. That's Jupiter. We'll have to have a big Jupiter. Yeah. Eleven times the diameter of Earth. <laughs> <laughs> so and there it is, the king of the planets. Oh, let's give With it a lap big, anyway. 
Look at the big great red eye right yeah. in the centre there. There is a what? What is the big great red eye you're talking about? Well, it's hot <laughs> swirling gases. Really? Yeah. You hydrogen, helium, something. ammonia, looks methane. Like, looks like something made by the Ansel Company. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, 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 now. So now, what? What happens here? <laughs> <laughs> now about about ten years ago, Daryl. Yeah. <laughs> from the far oh, distance. Dear. Of the I solar believe, system. I, so, I can't Can you believe, believe we're doing this. No, I can't believe we're doing this. <laughs> 20 years in science, and my credibility is going down a black hole tonight. <laughs> you made me on okay. a curiosity show years ago. Yeah, not okay. Now, now uh, a comet from the distant space came hurtling towards Jupiter about 10 years oh, ago. Oh, here goes the comet. It's Bill Hayes. It's one of you. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, then, and then it passed closer. And at one stage, it broke up, and this was probably a couple of years ago, yeah. broke up into pieces. So now there's a train of pieces of this comet that are heading around Jupiter. There we are. And it's been predicted yes. that pretty soon, keep going around, keep going around, it may collide with Jupiter. If it does, there could be a shower of incredible sparks in the sky, or it could actually cause another eye to occur, or it may make Jupiter even brighter than the moon. That'll happen. Wasn't that interesting, boys and girls? Next week, the destruction of the Earth. <laughs>